Today I'm taking a laid back look at iCity, which is a city generator add-on for Blender. If you've ever needed a quick cityscape in your 3D project, this add-on can be your best new friend. iCity is basically a procedural city generator, and it builds out streets and buildings for you really quickly. And let me tell you, it is really great at doing that. Simply because you don't need to painstakingly model dozens of city scrapers by hand, so iCity does the heavy lifting for you while you can focus on the layout and the design of the city. But I think I should let the features of the add-on talk for themselves. So how does this add-on actually work? You can start by drawing roads or outlining city blocks right into Blender's viewport. iCity's procedural road tool is built for this. For example, you can draw out a road network or just extrude the edges of a square to form city blocks, and boom. iCity will produce each block with buildings for you, and I think it is almost like SimCity, but inside Blender. Roads and intersections are handled smartly because automatic intersections are generated, so you don't have to manually model those pesky cross streets. The Anon comes with a vast library of assets, in addition to presets, to dress up your city. We're talking 20 plus types of procedural buildings, from towering skyscrapers to smaller townhouses, and over 60 road designs, in addition to a ton of props like trees, street lights, benches, and more. In fact, the Anon launched with 300 plus assets in the library, basically a whole mini city kit for you, ready to go. The Anon even scatters little imperfections to make the city feel alive. Things like fallen leaves, trash litter, puddles, you name it. To give it that lived-in vibe, there are also building presets included. So if you need a courthouse here or a block of an apartment there, you can just pick from the preset styles without starting from scratch. Overall, the toolset covers everything, from laying down road networks to filling the scene with buildings, parks, and city props. And the good thing, everything can be procedurally generated. So it is feature-packed and easy to use, but how about performance? Creating an entire city is obviously heavy, I mean when it comes to polygons and objects, so performance is a valid concern. The developers of iCity know this is a priority and they are aware of it, so they've built some smart solutions. One standout feature is the proxy mode, so at any time, you can switch the city to low poly and texture placeholders to keep your viewport running smoothly. This means even if you've generated thousands of buildings and props, you won't necessarily turn Blender into a slideshow. I found this super helpful when panning around a large scene. You can design with proxies on, then swap back to full detail when it is time to render. In addition, recent updates have massively improved the add-on speed. In fact, an update around version 1.1 included a complete rewrite of the system, resulting in something like 10x faster performance overall. So if you tried an early version and find it kinda slow, the current version is a lot snappier. And of course, if you push it to an extreme, you will still need a decent computer to handle it. One of iCity's biggest strengths is its level of customization and the creative control it gives you. I mean over generated cities. So you're not locked into cookie cutter results. You could really make the city your own, looking exactly like you want it to be. For starters, pretty much every aspect of the roads and buildings is tweakable via AZ controls, which is a relief, honestly. Now, is iCity worth it? And who is it best for? If you frequently used urban environments in your projects, iCity offers tremendous value. Think about it. Modeling even a city block manually could take days. With this add-on, you can generate a sprawling city in a matter of minutes. For concept artists, for example, this is a dream come true. You can plug in a realistic city background for different artwork or for matte painting, for example, without spending forever on it. Game designers might use this add-on to prototype level layouts or even create city assets for open-world games, then exporting the results to Unreal or Unity. And urban planners or ArcVis artists could use it to visualize city plans or architectural concepts in 3D space. The bottom line is that iCity is a really great city generator right now, and it is one of the best, if not the best out there, because honestly, it is a huge time and effort saver. 
So if you're interested, you will find all the necessary links about this add-on down in the description. And there you have it guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.